the suspended feet elevated hip bridge, we're going to be using the TRX or some other suspension trainer. When we set up the handle, if I was standing next to it, you're going to set the straps to be just below that knee. Then as we get set up, we want the straps to be straight up and down. So I'm going to position myself accordingly. Put your fingers in the straps, bring them to the outsides, and heels go right into those straps. Now I'll get myself situated so that the straps are straight up and down, and I've got a 90 degree angle in the hips and in the knees here. From here, we're going to think about pressing that belly into the floor. We're going to think about those heels driving straight down into those straps as those hips push to the ceiling. On the way down, we're going to roll that back down onto the floor so the butt is the last thing to touch. As you can see, when I lift, I'm not pressing away in the straps. We're going to think about heels driving straight down like we're trying to drive them into the floor or back towards me. And my hips are rising to the sky, trying to achieve that straight line position. Now, if you're mastering this and want to make this a notch harder, you're just going to simply shimmy back to create some angle on the strap, which is going to create more of a demand in, on those hamstrings while you are creating the pattern. 